Today's topic is um, about I chose it specifically because it fits with the uh, theme of the workshop and is something which is um, quite an interesting activity I have done with students um, a few times before and now we are doing it in a group where we are learning so where we are all teachers so that is an interesting aspect to it so we will basically talk about quickly talk about responsibilities of a teacher in today's era which I um, have a few points which I have come across several times and um, uh, today we'll explore a different um, side of it so I will start with it with a very interesting case study um, and I would ask you to uh, brainstorm what are the skills and abilities required to rob a bank so if so if you would have already gone through a very uh, famous season these days uh, la casa de papel or um, money east uh, even if you have not we have very less time so i would want everybody to engage quickly and just quickly tell me tell me five six seven things on the abilities and skills which are required to rob a bank okay yeah that's that's a good one so i will start writing here planning what else i would say teamwork what else yeah leadership i would say uh, leadership i don't know why it is not writing properly uh, leadership is basically two things um, to have a leader and then have followers who can follow a leader effectively the instructions and everything uh, what else what else I would say a very controversial topic I would say ability ability to fire weapons I don't know why it is not writing if needed if needed what else time management excellent excellent we can go on uh, on this forever and ever but because we have limited time let's work with these these are quite 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 a few major ones the question is is planning individually bad it is independently is planning a bad skill no is teamwork a bad skill no is um, I don't know what I've written here but leadership is leadership ability or quality or following a leader a bad thing no um, I, I specifically wrote this is ability to fire weapons a bad thing um, intrinsically no it, it, it keeps us protected it, the, there are bad people around in the world and governments and organizations and people are using it to defend good people is time management a bad thing independently no but what is all this being used for what is all what are all these abilities and skills being used for here to rob a bank to rob a bank which is a very bad thing to do I would always say that these are the same abilities and skills which are required to run uh, in any successful organization these are the same same abilities and skills which are required to run any successful government these are same abilities and skills which are required to successfully finish a degree or something but what they're being used for here is to rob a bank so intrinsically the skills and abilities which are required to do good things or bad things are not individually bad but they're being the collectively they are being used to do bad things and I think this is where we lack uh, th this is where we lack perspective that we are teaching students who have 
all all the students have different abilities or skills maybe they are using to bluff a teacher maybe they are using them to cheat maybe they are using them to do all those bad sort of things which we want to um, avoid in the classroom but they have those abilities and skills to do that and that's where i come to my next point of making the best out of skills and abilities so, so the responsibility of a teacher when we talk about responsibility of a teacher here i'm talking about regardless of the technicalities of the subject so we are teaching very technical subjects it matters what they are learning there it matters what, if they are learning what is 2 plus 2 but apart from those technical subjects which we are teaching it is how well a student is performing and more important responsibility is to prepare the students for the actual world where they will be using that knowledge connected with their abilities and skills and what we can do to do that is uh, in my opinion i didn't apart from the technical skills which we are teaching identify the skills and abilities of an individual student acknowledge them so tell a student that even if you were doing something bad like this i uh, a set of skills and abilities is required to, to do that and why are you using it to do something bad when we can when you can use it to when you can uh, put it to some good use and motivate the students to use them for the right cause assist the students in taking the initial steps in making habits in in in, in understanding what they can use it to for and then encourage them through the path until you are connected with them so i feel that it is a bigger it, it it puts things in a bigger perspective than what is two plus two and i really like this line so this is my sense or understanding of a good teacher from a very um from almost three four years ago when i knew about this case study and when i started learning it but in the current era i recently read a book in which um, yuval Noah harari very interestingly uh, sums up this and he writes that in the current era the last thing a teacher needs is to give her pupils more information they already have far too much of it through and and, and it is talked about in the in the chapter previously through global connectivity through all the available tools through social media the information is being pushed in us and and specifically in in in, in the students the younger generation instead people need the ability to make sense of information to tell the difference between what is important and what is not and above all to combine many bits of information into a broader picture of the world and he states that this is the responsibility of a teacher to help the student distinguish between right and wrong pick up the right thing and make use of it appro appropriately to make sense of the world and then put it to the right use and uh, yeah that's my short lecture about what I feel responsibility of a good teacher is.